<laughs> What's up y'all, it's Moose here and today we're going to be talking about being a professional interior designer and all the things about it. I have my cousin here with me and she's going to introduce herself and she's going to tell you guys all about it. Hi everyone, I'm Tamid Chaudhary and I'm an interior designer at a Dallas-based hospitality design firm. So I basically design hotels and restaurants. Yeah, so Dahmi, you got your degree from Texas Tech for interior design. So can you tell us all about like what it's like to get a degree there? And also just like, is a degree even necessary? Would you recommend Texas Tech? Tell us all about it. Yeah, sure. So I went to Texas Tech University. It was a four year program and I majored in interior design and I minored in architecture. And I also minored in restaurant hotel management because I always knew I wanted to be in the hospitality design industry. Uh, there's like a whole backstory behind it, why, and I guess we can get into it or we don't have to, but anyway. Uh, and then your other question, maybe we can get into it a little bit later. Yeah. And then your other question was... Um, Do you even like need a college degree or would you recommend it? Okay, so I think it varies person to person and it also depends on what kind of industry you want to be in because interior design it's not just residential there's commercial there's hospitality healthcare i can go on and on so it really just depends on what kind of field you want to be in because commercial industry they are requiring a degree to get into it more and more nowadays uh, so yeah, if you want, if someone wants to be in the commercial industry, I would recommend it. But if you want to be in residential or uh, maybe hospitality, I would say you might not. But even if you don't have a degree, you will have to either know somebody to get into the field, or you would have to find a great mentor who is patient yeah. enough to, you know, walk you through the road. Yeah. So what I'm hearing is like, if you have that degree, getting in through the gate is a lot more easier than like going in, getting an apprenticeship, and getting that experience. When you have that yes. degree, it's a lot easier. Right? Right. Yes. So when you got your degree from Texas Tech, would you recommend the program? What was that like? What was like your college experience with it? Yeah, so for my college experience, I would recommend it if anybody wants to. It was a great experience. But I feel like even if I didn't go to college, I could have, the type of person I am, I could have made it on my own anyway because I'm very good with making connections with people. Yeah. I'm very good with, I'm just a very social person or I'm very, I'm a fast learner. So if you have those qualities, I feel like you can go a far away without getting a college degree in certain situations. But you know, for some people, I feel like that's necessary because yeah. college kind of lays out a coursework, which is helpful to learn the necessary things for your the field you want to be in. But if I had that layout of that coursework, before I went to college, I would have found another way to learn those things yeah. before getting a job yeah. or getting my foot into the industry. Yeah. So, um, based off of your experience from that too, is like having an internship really necessary? Did you do any? Like, what does that look like for people too? Yeah, internship, that was so helpful for me because it's so different studying something and actually doing hands-on work because after I got my internship, all my education was finally starting to make sense. Everything that I learned in the books was finally starting to make sense. And I just thought to myself, if I didn't go to school and jumped into an internship, I would have learned so much faster. Honestly, I wish the school system was like that instead of certain things, you know, like interior design, like instead of studying on the books, I wish they had programs where you are learning hands-on in yeah. person. Yeah. So based off of your like internship, like where did you do yours? Like how would, if someone's in their undergrad right now, how would they go about like getting their internship? What does that process look like and how can we get like the most out of it? Yeah, sure. So honestly, the, I would say the process was not easy at all, but then again, like what I was saying, being a social person, being a person who knows how to connect with people quickly, that came a far way for me. So I went to this study abroad program through to New York through um, Texas Tech University. That was maybe sophomore year of my college life. And then during my internship, they took us to different interior design firms to visit and we met with a bunch of designers and I made sure to keep all the business cards and later down the road after maybe my sophomore year or junior year, I think, when it was time for me to get an internship, I reached out to all of the designers. I reached out to them and I let them know, hey, I met you through 
Um, I met you during my internship, blah, blah, blah. I'm looking for, no, sorry. I, hey, I met you through, I'm like blanking on, hold on. You met him through the, basically, the, 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 the trip you went yeah. to, yeah. Just cut this part, okay, yeah. So I just, I emailed them and then I let them know like, hey, I met you through the study abroad and I'm from Texas State University, blah, blah, blah. I'm looking for an internship, are you hiring? And I didn't hear back from a lot of people and those are not the only people that I applied to. There were at least 50 firms that I applied to and then I heard back from the firm I wanted to get an internship at. So that was mind blowing to me. But anyway, yeah, I got the internship in New York and I flew over there found someone to stay with, a family friend, and then for two and a half months, I did my internship, and yeah. it was the best experience. Yeah. So what I'm hearing is like, having somebody and being able to reach out to them and being able to make connections is really important. So basically to make it in the field, you have to be able to be a people person. Yes. Or like, what if you're introverted? Is that a skill you still have to develop? What does that look like for them too? Um, if you're introverted, I would say that there are skills that can be handy. There's a lot of computer programs that we have to use. So we all like interior architecture. Their interior architects always use different uh, computer programs to build drawing sets, construction documents. So I would say if you're an introverted person, that's something that you can look into. But honestly, even if you're an introverted, even if you're an introverted person, you can always like learn how to talk to people. You know, that's a skill that you can develop. So just because you're an introverted person doesn't mean that you can't be social. Yeah. That's something you can always learn. It's a skill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, so based off of your experience and also working, if someone's trying to get into the field, like what advice would you have for them if they're like in undergrad or if they're even in high school? Like what are some things they should consider when they're going into a college program? Yeah, so I would say if you're in high school, then figure out what industry you want to be in and then think about your financial situation. Think about what kind of experience you want to have. Think about what kind of designer you want to be. Based on all those, make a list and that will help you decide whether you want to go to college or not. And if you are in college, then start making those connections. Go to every event that your school is offering, even if it's an alumni event or even if it's a career event, anything like that, make those connections, keep those business cards, stay in touch with those people, reach out to them because it will pay, up, pay off later. I mean, that makes sense too, like even with like my field, like when I was getting my master's degree, mm -hmm. I didn't really think I would come back to UNT, but since yeah. I kept connections with them, like I was able to get my job too. Exactly. So a lot of what you're saying is a lot of the work that you do is based off of building connections or relationships. Mm -hmm. um, do you think that because you were able to build those connections, you've been able to get the job that you have right now? What is oh, that? Oh yeah, like? absolutely. Cause you know, I feel like people, a lot of people have this misconception where just because you, have, you go to college, you're going to get a job. That's not true. I feel like whether you go to college or not, it's equally difficult to find a job or step your foot into your career or business, whatever you want to do, you know? Know, like college doesn't make it easier but what was your question yeah so do you think that the connections that you made made it easier for you yes yeah. so basically the company I work with right now that's something I had my eye on for a long time and I just found out about them through because I was coming to Dallas a lot and I was just visiting different hotels for inspiration and then I saw this hotel and I was like, oh my gosh, who designed this place? I need to find out. And I looked them, out, looked them up and I found out about them and then I had my mind set, like yeah. this is where I want to work. And later down the road, I on LinkedIn, I saw that one of uh, my friends that went to Texas Tech with me, he works there. So I reached out to him and I was like, hey, uh, are you guys hiring? Do you know? And then he said, yeah. So that's how he referred me and then okay. I interviewed with them and yeah. that's how I got into the company. Yeah, that makes sense. So like now that you're like a professional, what is like your typical day look like? Yeah, so my typical day, you know, a nine to five, I would say that people say nine to five, but in the design industry, sometimes you have to do uh, overtime. Sometimes at the office, I'll be there till eight or nine so because it's very like deadline based. And I do have the choice to say, no, I'm not gonna do this. But honestly, I want to be a team player and I don't want like all of my work to be, throw all my work to that one person I want to help out. And, yeah divide and conquer yeah so 
now that you're a professional, if you had to give advice to someone that's really trying to get into it, what advice would you have for them? Uh, like after college? Yeah, or? after college, if they're trying to get into the industry, what advice do you have for them? Yeah, so after college, it's always very difficult, you know, to find jobs. You went through the process, like it's not easy. Not, it's not just interior design, it can be any yeah. field. So I would say like keep applying to jobs, What? go to LinkedIn, go to Facebook, talk to all your connections, even if they're family members. You never know what kind of connections you might pull out of what kind of person. So talk to anybody and everybody, make yourself available and open to whatever opportunity that can come to your way, like keep the doors open, you know? And yeah, like social networks, LinkedIn, Facebook, I feel like those are huge. Even posting on like community uh, group chats, group uh, pages, things like that. Yeah. Um, what else did I do? I'm trying to think. LinkedIn for me was like huge for me. It was slept on because a lot of the jobs yeah. I was applying for, I found out through LinkedIn. Yeah. And a lot of the times, like I remember when I graduated, when I was trying to find my internship, my former boss and their boss were like really huge referrers for me. So completely understandable. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So reach out to people you know, that's huge. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, and then one last thing, apply to as many jobs as you can. Yeah. It's always a numbers game. The more you apply to, the more chances you have. You know, like, have you seen those crazy posts on like LinkedIn where people will be like, I applied to 100 jobs and got rejected, but Facebook hired me, you know? Like, crazy things like that happen. Yeah. I got every place I applied to, I always got my dream job because I kept applying and never, never gave up. Okay. Even though I got rejected by some, but I got hired by the one I wanted to be hired by. That's very interesting to look at because for me, it was the exact opposite. Because really? For me, I only looked at the jobs I really wanted and mm -hmm. I only applied for those, but I also like reached out to those people and I was like, okay, hey, are you hiring? I'm really looking for it. If I didn't get hired, I took some time off and got another job and then we applied for it later on so I could have the experience that they had because I would be like, okay, I got rejected, but yeah. what are the reasons? And I worked on that and then I reapplied for it. Nice, and did you get it? Yeah, so I ended nice. up getting the job, but it's, it's just a different approach to it, yeah. right? Yeah, no, so that's that, really that always smart depends too. on it. But um, other than that, if someone is thinking about being a college freshman and then they are in their interior design program right now, what advice would you have for them? Yeah, so being a freshman in college, it can be very difficult navigating your way through, you know, especially if you're a first generation student, you have no guidance. So I would say like really like manage your time. That's huge because I know as a freshman, you can get distracted by so many new things, you know, making new friends, joining organizations. There's a lot of distractions going on, parties, all those things. But you really have to be, have to manage your time so you're not pulling those all-nighters because they will come bite you in the yeah. ass later. And like in terms of organizations, something to consider is like have organizations that are useful to you. Yeah. Like for me, being an RA and like being in housing organizations was really helpful for me because like that's what helped me realize I was going to go into the mental health field, right? So like maybe like, you can have like interior design organizations. Yeah, there are, too, yeah, there's like Jay Sunny, IDEA, yeah, there's many interior design organizations. And then like even being in fraternities, you, did you guys do like study groups and stuff? Yeah. yeah. So like, those really I bet helpful. those are helpful too, right? Yeah, yeah so um, we're about to wrap up now. And as I wrap up, do you want to talk about anything? Um, I do. Oh yeah, follow me on TikTok at TC Design Atelier. I share daily insights and tips and advice for college students and interior design aspiring interior designers. I also have a YouTube channel where you guys can learn more about interior design. Yeah. So what's your YouTube channel called? It's the same thing. It's called Timmy Chaudhary Design Atelier. Yeah, y'all follow my cousin Thamid. She has a YouTube channel. She makes pretty good content. It looks better than mine actually too. Yeah, it does. It's probably better edited too. So today we talked about uh, the life of an interior designer and what it's like and the experience for it. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and I hope you have an amazing day.